Hey, Rebo here and welcome to my channel. Um, so I had to get another helmet and I picked this one right here. This is a Shoei RF 1400. It takes the place of the RF 1200, which really was kind of like the golden standard for regular everyday uh, street helmets. Now, couple things about this particular helmet. The price starts in around the $569 and up range. I think Revzilla currently has them for like $579 and up. This is just a flat blue. It's nothing fancy, so it was on the lower end. I actually did not get this one uh, right here from Revzilla. I got it from my local store. Actually, my local Ducati dealer had it and gave me a pretty good deal, and I saved some money buying it locally rather than Revzilla. Uh, but the reason why I got this helmet right here is because I needed something quieter for doing moto vlogs. I'm having a lot of problems with noise because right now I have a helmet that I absolutely love. I have two of them as a matter of fact, and that is the AGV K6. I got them because they are absolutely so much lighter than anything else and it's just easier on my neck as a matter of fact if you can look at the weight here yourself the weight here of this helmet is actually a lot more than of the agv k6 and the agv k6 has the cardo system which means it has those heavier magnetic um speakers in the ears so that adds a lot of weight and it's still significantly lighter than this one but this one isn't bad at all now couple things about this helmet i like it for a few reasons one of the reasons is because it's not just dot but it is also snell approved that is one of the bigger things about this particular helmet is that it has both certifications so it gives you maybe a little bit more of a comfort zone as far as protection is concerned. All right. It is made in Japan, if you can see that. And the difference, I'm going to compare this to my AGV K6. This one actually appears to be, appears to be of a better quality. Again, I love the AGV K6. I have tens of thousands of miles on my AGV K6s. But this particular helmet is more comfortable and it just seems to have a little higher level of quality in this price range because the AGV K6 is around the same price as this one. Now the cheek pads in here kind of give you more of a chipmunk face. It does seem to fit a little bit better and it feels more secure on your head with these right here. So it does feel as though it is not just more secure, but it really holds it in place and it's nice and soft in here. So I do like this. The bad part about this thing is that getting these visors on and off are very, it's very difficult. It's a pain in the butt to get these on and off the way this system is built. The AGV K6 is far superior. Another thing is that you have a lot more choices with the AGV K6 helmet than this one. I will tell you that I have like a blue mirror uh, that's like Iridium on the AGV K6. They don't have that option here. They have this basic mirror one, but it doesn't cut down the light as much. In order to get about the same amount of light cut uh, from coming in, I would have to go with the dark smoke, which right now is almost impossible to find. No one has them in stock. I do like the mirrored ones because I think that it reflects a lot of the heat back out. But the problem is this is not dark enough. And on those really bright days when you have the sun in your eyes, um, this does not work as well as the AGV K6 line of visors. When you get this helmet, it does come with the pin lock, which everyone is familiar with. It's kind of like your anti-fog. You do get one with this particular helmet. And it does have the chin screen here to help the wind and knock the wind down keep it a little bit warmer in those colder temperatures it has my favorite which is a double locking d-ring but what i can tell you again in comparison to the agv k6 is that for some reason this one is a little bit more difficult to get to i believe that the d-rings come down a little bit further 
on the AGV and I find myself having a hard time snapping this in place. I was able to get a GoPro mount. This comes from Ride Tech. They're out of Canada. I do know that it is 3D printed and I can tell because you can see the layers in here. Occasionally you get a little string that'll come off like this one. You need to snip them really quickly, uh, but I've had one for years on the other helmet and it fits on here perfectly. Again, um, it's important to me that I have the GoPro mount on here. So a helmet like this, if you're going to do moto vlogging, does allow you to get that. But the number one reason and the biggest reason that I went with this Shoei RF 1400 was because it significantly cuts down on the noise. The noise level is extremely quiet. It's much quieter than what I was experiencing on the AGV K6. Again, the trade-off is it's a slightly heavier, as you saw by the scale, but it is a lot quieter. And then my audio seems to work out better when I do do the moto vlogs. That's why I really, that's what drove me to this helmet to begin with. It's a proven helmet, the RF 1200 was super popular in the, in the past. A lot of things, a lot of other helmets were compared against the RF 1200, um, it, again, in its price point. And this is the new version of it. There are a ton of videos about this, but this is why I got it. And it seems to work for me extremely well. Will I stop wearing my AGV K6s? Absolutely not. Unless I'm doing a moto vlog, at which point this will be my helmet of choice. So anyway, so this is why I chose the Shoei RF 1400. Uh, like I said, there's a ton of reviews about this, a lot more detail what I'm showing you, but if you want a really quiet helmet at uh, what I consider now the normal price point, um, it's a great helmet. If you want lightweight, certainly go to the AGV K6, but I will tell you that the build quality seems absolutely, uh, better on this than it does on the AGV product in its price point. I know I have to keep saying that. And that's about it. Anyway, this is Rimbo. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.